we'll now look at linear systems that don't have any solutions. And we'll do this by kind of walking through some examples and seeing what happens. So let's consider this linear system here. If we want to solve it, the first step would be to put it in augmented matrix form. Now that we have the augmented matrix, the first step is to get a one in the first row, first column, which we can see is already done here. So next, we need to get zeros below that. To get rid of this, uh, this two, we would need to do negative two, row one, plus row two. And to get rid of the three, we would need to do negative three, row one, plus row three. We can see that negative two times one plus two is zero, negative two times negative one minus one is one, negative two times negative two plus zero is four, and negative two times negative two minus five is negative one. So that gives us the second row. For the third row, negative three times one plus three is zero, negative three times negative one minus one is two, negative three times negative two plus two is eight, and then finally, negative three min times negative two minus six is zero. The second step is to get a one in the second row second column, which we can see we already have. So after that, our goal is to get zeros in the rest of the column. To get rid of the top zero, we can just add row two plus row one. And to get rid of the two, in the third row, we would need to do negative two, row two, plus row three. So the first one, zero plus one is one, one plus negative one is zero, four plus negative two is two, and negative one plus negative two is negative three. For the third row, negative two times zero plus zero is zero, negative two times one plus two is zero, negative two times four, plus eight is zero and negative two times negative one plus two is two. So now we can already see that we have issues. In particular, the next step would be to get a one in the third row, third column. However, that's impossible. If we just look at the coefficient matrix part, we have a row of zeros. And so this is our indication that we have no solution. We can see that if we were to write these, these equations, we would have an x1 plus 0x2 plus 2x3 equal to negative 3. The second row would have given us 0x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equal to negative 1. And then the last row just gives us 0 equal to 2, which we cannot have. 0 is never equal to 2. So this is what indicates that we have no solution. And in general, this is the thing that we want to watch out for, where this star is anything but zero. In any row that has something of this form, where everything to the left of the augment is zero and everything to the right is anything but a zero, this indicates that we have no solution. So let's look at one more example. This is a system of three equations and two unknowns. So the first step is to put it in augmented matrix form. Since we already have a one in the first row, first column, we need to get zeros underneath it. To get rid of the three, we'll do three times row one plus row two. And to get rid of the two, We'll do negative two, row one, plus row three. And this is what we get once we perform those row operations. The next step would be to get a one in the second row, second column. Since it's currently a four, we'll multiply the second row by one over four. And this is the result. The final step is to get a th uh, the turn of the three into a zero. And in order to do that, we would do negative three row two plus row three. And when we do, here's the result. And we can see this last row here does have a zero equal to three. So that means this has no solution.